Ex-prisoners of Reddit, what was the worst thing you saw inside the prison walls? I worked in the medical department of a large prison in Florida. We had an inmate bite a bigger inmate's nose off. The tip. The bigger guy kept asking the kid for SX and the kid had enough. We saw several stabbings. Several were life flighted out. But those weren't the most interesting. We had an inmate smoke some bad spice. Made out of god knows what. He came to medical out of his mind and later died because it caused brain hemorrhaging. One guy got a dislocated patella and was just sitting patiently as I got his info. I asked if it hurt and he said yeah. I asked how he was so chill and he replied. Because I'm not a bitch. Not the most messed up. But this stuck with me for whatever reason. While studying medicine. I was working at a prison clinic in NY. Guy comes in with a fairly dirty cast on his arm. Otherwise he seems fairly normal. He's there to have his cast removed. So I ask him when they put the cast on he says December. It's late January. So yeah. It's been enough time for the bone to heal. I figured his living conditions were the reason for the cast looking like that. So I got the okay and started removing the cast. The smell. His skin underneath looked terrible. And there were little pieces of wood and other crap embedded in the skin. Complete atrophy of the casted forearm. After further questioning. It turns out the cast had been on his arm for over a year. And it was just getting removed. I was glad to be getting out of that rotation. Done 11 years myself. One of the worst things I've seen is two members of a gang called Goodfellas, Aka 40 deep, jumped on a blood on the way back from pill call. One used a large knife. The other had a fan motor in a net bag and used that as a flail. Also seen heard multiple people being raped. A friend of mine admitted to me after a year or so that he had been actively up every night by his roommate, OOOG from the Bloods, for about a 5 month period. There's more just what I could think of ATM. There was talk about a guy assaulting his own daughter. Some guys made him a cup of morning coffee. Morning coffee is basically taking a kettle. Pour cooking oil in it. Heat it up and add a lot of sugar and then throw it in someone's face. It was very uncomfortable to see and hear. Edit. Whoa. First comments to really blow up like this. Edit 2. 10k upvotes. Holy fck. I never thought a day would come where I came home to that. Thanks for the award strangers. Although I must admit that I have mixed feelings about those helpful ones. Not prison but jail. 6 months pregnant and her water broke. CEOs didn't believe her and waited to take her to the hospital until she was hemorrhaging. The baby died and the woman was released because they didn't want to pay medical costs. This was 2004-ish. I spent two weeks awaiting trial in Johannesburg Central Prison. Saw a guy with mental issues get severely beaten one night after he attacked another inmate. Saw another guy have a kettle of boiling water poured over him another evening after an argument with another prisoner. In both cases the wardens did nothing until the following morning. I was lucky. I managed to avoid any issues while I was there. Overall a crappy experience. 0 stroke 10. Would not recommend. I've never been to prison but my cousin did and he came back out all sorts of messed up. He was arrested for drugs. According to him he spent the majority of his time in solitary confinement. For his safety. He said that his first couple of months there were okay. As far as prison goes. But that one day. For whatever reason some guy who had been kept separate from the general population was accidentally put with the rest of the prisoners. Unsupervised in that a few prisoners grabbed the guy in that they stomped on his elbows and legs to break them before they sodomized him with some shivs. My cousin said it that those guys did it all in an instant and that they threatened him if he snitched. My cousin was later interviewed by some of the guards before they took the guys who did this and so some thought that he had snitched. He says that he didn't. But that didn't matter because the guards had put him in solitary for safety and was eventually kept there for months longer. Because he wouldn't snitch so they tried to accuse him of being an accomplice. Also. Thank you for the silver. I spent 8 years in prison. In the state of Georgia. 
there was a guy who made a hustle of holding a hiding illegal cell phones for the Mexican gangs. When a shakedown search occurred. This man was responsible for the loss of many of those cell phones. He was confronted on the yard. And tried to escape by climbing the fence. He got stuck in the razor wire. Shredding his forearms. While 7 or 8 Mexican gang members were stabbing him all in the back of his legs and his ass. I spent 6 years in prison. One month in I watched a crip on crip gang stabbing. They stabbed the guy 60 plus times while he was curled up in a ball screaming help. But nobody could because you'd be a target next. He somehow survived but I couldn't tell you how. I think about it every day. Seeing someone on the threes jump to his death. Saw a guy try to kill himself. The block only had two tears. He walked up the stairs and the phones were right at the top. He grabbed the hook and used it to climb on top of the phone with the side railing. He then leaned over the rail holding the hook and fell back. Saw someone break a small branch off a tree in the yard. Dried out in the sun. Sharpen it down to a point on the concrete and then stab a guy in the back with it four times. Modern problems require stone age solutions. I saw a guy get in a fight with his cousin over a 50 cent bowl. This escalated more and more until they starting fighting. We all kinda watched out the corner of our eyes bc it was in the cell while the doors were open. Well the guy that was pissed about the bowl grabbed the dude by the hair and bite a huge hunk of his cousin's eyebrow off. Like about half of it. If that wasn't bad enough me and my cellmate moved into the cell bc it was further away from the tv. So we are cleaning up the cell and my cellmate goes holy fck look at this. He lifts up what I thought was a dead hairy bug. Nope. Furry ass eyebrow and skin. Doesn't haunt me. My uncle was in for 17 years for marijuana related charges. He was in a ward with two other guys with the same name as him. Both of them in for 7 years. One of them killed a guy and the other was a child molester. One day when my uncle was in the showers. A group of guys who mistaken him as a child molester were about to serve prison justice on the wrong guy. He quickly realized the situation. Sprinted naked out the showers to grab his papers to show the guys they have the wrong dude. 17 years for marijuana and 7 years for molesting a child. That's f ked up. English female prison I saw a woman get held down by two others while a third woman proceeded to shove her hand up the woman's vagina to check if she had came in with a parcel, drugs, this was in the communal shower so yeah addicts don't give her fck. It's not the craziest thing I saw but it's a social norm in prison that goes on daily. I'll never forget how socially acceptable jackers were. Like somebody would be wearing a coat or hoodie etc and stare at a female c. Oh. And jack off. Sometimes sitting on a bench. Sometime the TV room. And nobody bats an eye. One time a dude was like hey man can you move a row over. She know I'm watching and didn't skip a beat cranking off to an ugly 60 something year old woman. It's f ked up but after a while you just accept that some people went nuts in there. There was a guy I was locked up with in Baldwin County who went into our block's common area library. Just a bookshelf with about 50-60 books, and ripped out the last chapter of every single fking book. We had an offender with a colostomy bag. Every time he would shower. The most terrible smell would fill the unit. We asked him multiple times to not burp his colostomy bag in the shower but he swore he wasn't. Eventually. After developing an infection. His doctor found out he was charging other inmates to have SX with his colostomy hole. This is the second colostomy SX story that I've read on this thread. What? The. FCK. While not prison and certainly tame by comparison. The worst thing I saw in jail was refusal to allow people to use the restroom. We. Six of us. We're all waiting 12 hours for processing in a small town in NC and were put in a concrete cell with a toilet. Every time we stood up to use the toilet, an officer would yell at us to sit back down. For those who disobeyed, they were forcibly handcuffed and moved somewhere else often pissing themselves during the ordeal. 
editing to add some detail and hopefully answer some questions I've seen in the comments I was a first year in college going to Campbell University. I was arrested and taken to the Harnett County Jail where I was eventually served an ex-party restraining order. That order was thrown out less than a month later. But charges pending existed on my record for years after until I could get it expunged which cost me quite a few jobs. That sounds really cruel if not illegal of the guards. I remember people kinda turned on each other out of boredom. I mean. You made friends and all. But you had it hanging over you that you were a bad guy. And some people took to being assholes and provoked others seemingly out of boredom. It was an unpleasant situation to be on the other side. Because you wanted to stay out of trouble too. But at the same time had to stand up for yourself. Maybe not the absolute worst I saw. But something I remember. Not a prison but worked in a prison clinic for a few weeks while in med school. Was under the mentorship of the prison GP. Had this one guy come into the clinic for a routine visit who had a colostomy. We did our physical. Blah blah. And the guy was about to leave. The GP mentoring me said. Hey. Check out his colostomy real quick. The guy awkwardly peeled part of his bag off and he has these red blisters weeping fluid around his colostomy stoma. I was totally confused and the guy left super quick. GP just shrugged. Later that day. I asked the GP what was up. Apparently the other prisoners FCK that guy's colostomy hole. And he had gotten herpes of the colostomy from the other prisoners. Haunts me to this day. Can I please go back to the person I was before I read this? Saw a dude get his face turned to hamburger over a card game. Dude lost so he sucker punches the guy's cross from him a minute later. Gets on top of him. And probably get about 10 hits in by the time the CO broke it up. Blood everywhere I was like holy fck. It was like my first month there and it made me kinda not wanna leave the cell. My bunkie was a blood and jacked he's like dude nobody will fck with you I'm like okay I hope not. The term getting the shti beat out of you is real. You get beat so fast and hard the adrenaline kicks in and you shti yourself. It's like some primal defense mechanism. Saw many guys crawl away because if they walked away all the shti would dirty the pod which would make everyone more angry. Mild to most comments here. But I had to turn myself in for a 90 day sentence at a small county jail about 15 years ago. In booking. Watched a drunk guy that had just killed someone driving punch a guard and beat another inmate with a payphone receiver before he was subdued. An 18 year old kid looking at some prison time swan dove off the top of the catwalk around the upper cells and broke his neck. This happy go lucky guy drank an entire gallon of floor cleaner to get f ked up and laid in the corner puking and shting himself. The guards didn't care until he stopped breathing. The one that shook me the most. This Mexican guy probably 20 years old was being deported for selling heroin for like the fourth time. This skinhead asked him why he kept doing it. The kid started crying and said the cartel would kill his family in Mexico if he didn't return and keep selling. He was already planning his return to start selling again. Saw this in a similar post. Some guy was doing a two year stretch for something. Anyway he was laying awake his first night when he heard the microwave. He didn't think much of it and ignored it. Then a few minutes later he hears this blood cuddling scream. Apparently the guy using the microwave heated up a tub of Vaseline to boiling point then he pours it on some guy's face. I think it was revenge for the guy talking smack about him. Not prison. But county jail. I was doing 90 days and a woman who was very pregnant went into labor. They refused to take her to the hospital until her contractions were 2 minutes apart. When they finally did. They shackled her to the bed. They refused to unlock the shackles even when the baby was in danger. She lost the baby and almost bled out. She was in jail for traffic tickets. I was in a prison that was split. One side was a level 4 facility, just under max, and the other was for mentally ill inmates. One day they decided to move some of their more stable mentally ill patients to our side. The level 4 side. There was this really huge dude who, as soon as he got to our prison, just started screaming that he wanted to go back. 
He turned and found the person closest to him. I was down the hallway from him. And he proceeds to beat the hell out of this random dude. Dude went into a coma and died two days later. It was horrifying to watch this blatant display of random violence that ended with someone dead. I won't ever forget it. I asked a correction officer friend a similar question. He told me the worst type of offenders were the bugs. He observed one guy who had sliced open his stomach and was actively pulling out his intestines. My friend couldn't do anything but observe before they could assemble a team to safely subdue the inmate. A guy get his face beaten by a dude with a cast on his arm because guy took dude's ketchup pack off his plate on hot dog day. Dudes thinking no one notices their bedsheets ruffling during lights out. Lol I remember juvie and you could hear the fifis through the whole block. I also had a bunky sleeping crow that baited non-stop and shook the bunk. He was like 6 feet 5 and angry so I didn't say anything. Nice guy otherwise but damn. Edit. Juvie equals juvenile hall kiddie jail. Don't do drugs. Skip school and get in fights kids. Fifi equals did I flashlight made out of a glove from the kitchen. Lotion or other lube and a towel washcloth or shirt whatever. Bunky equals bunk mate. Beds are bunk beds so you share them. Sleeping crow equals top bunk. Bottom bunk is better that's why dude was nice. A big guy will usually try to bully you for bottom bunk then you have to fight him and can't back out or you will get picked on bad. Newcomer on the wing. Asian guy. First night he knocks on our cell door and asks if we have any weed. Which is seen as suspect almost immediately and he's tarnished with a snitch brush. Second night Asian guy knocks again and asks if we have any heroin. Which is a big leap in anyone's book. We'd one day heroin the next. Something was up. It seems my pad wasn't the only one who thought this guy was up to something. On the third day of him being there and arousing all of the loonies suspicions on the wing. After some camorty on at his cell door I walk up and take a look inside. He was naked. Surrounded by the lads off the wing with a tablespoon lodged up his ass and crying. A cell stunk of shti. The lads had decided he was trying to sell stuff not buy it. So they looked if he had hidden any. In his ass. Cool story. I was a small time criminal in my youth. Got locked up for some weed for the weekend. I never experienced much kindness that I could remember from people but I did in jail. I couldn't use the bathroom in my cell because I was too scared and these guys started talking to me and distracting me so I could go. It was the strangest and coolest thing I'd ever seen. Been intrigued by behavior ever since. I watched a woman stab another woman in the neck with a plastic spork. Over a damn fruit cup. In Texas prison I saw a man die as he waited in a cage to see medical personnel. Nobody cares. He had been calling for help for over 30 minutes. Edit. I also saw a man killed over a chess game. That sucked. The perpetrator was due to be released soon but instead was prosecuted for murder. Not exactly prison but how about being laughed at when asked to show a guard that your molar just broke in half with one part in your hand and the other profusely bleeding. I'll ask the dentist for an emergency visit. Paperwork came back for a visit in 6 months. Co-worker of mine here in Delaware during a riot got his teeth stomped in and while he lay there bleeding some of the dudes on death row surrounded a female guard and protected her from all the other dudes who wanted to our pay her. Honor among thieves how about it? They actually got their sentences reduced I believe. Not the worst but I hope it's uplifting. Edit. If dudes on death row get their sentences reduced. Does that mean they get executed sooner? Edit. Thanks for the silver. I have been to state prison but the worst things I saw were in county jail. While on a high bail block a teen came in for lighting fire in a Ropperstale at the mall. He was definitely mentally handicapped. Perhaps autistic. They put him in a cell with a guy who killed a woman in the 80s and was only in county for parole hearing. That night the block endured horrible screams as poor kid's virginity was taken. The next morning at chow was the most quiet I ever heard. Kid was taken to medical after chow.